guys, welcome back to Makings of Chanel Dijon. And today we are making chicken noodle soup. Now, y'all have been hounding me about this recipe. So make sure you re-record it, save it to your YouTube because listen, y'all are only gonna get this once, okay? So we're gonna go over our ingredients. We have some already cooked shredded chicken. I boiled my chicken, uh, my chicken breast with some salt and pepper, very simple. And I went ahead and shredded it as well. I also added some chicken broth. Shh, don't tell nobody, cause it makes it just a little bit extra juicy. We have some onions. We have our carrots, our celery, some salt and pepper. We have our parsley. We have our chicken broth, our wine, our amazing Justin wine, which I love you guys. We have our favorite. <laughs> This season, you guys, listen, tell them to call me, okay? Because we always using this garlic butter and it is one of my ingredients in my soup. It makes everything absolutely amazing. And we also have our minced garlic and our secret ingredient. Okay, you guys, listen. We have our Seasoning are better than Boyan seasoning. Okay, listen, you guys have to get the premium one, the roasted chicken base. Don't try to be difficult. I get mine from Gelson's and I absolutely love it. This is all the flavoring your chicken noodle soup will need and it's gonna be amazing. Your kids, it's gonna, listen, this one nerf must, nursed mustard back to health from COVID. I was making this all week for him and it was so good. So let's get started. Okay, so make sure you guys only use half of your garlic butter. Go ahead and drop it into the skillet and push it around like this. Make sure it's coated your whole pot because we're gonna get ready to saute our veggies in this amazing garlic butter, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Okay. Let that marinate. Then we're gonna go ahead and drop in our onions. Drop in our garlic. We're gonna go ahead and add in our carrots as well. Go ahead and just add them all in. Oops, got a little bit of parsley, but that's all right. Okay, and then saute your veggies in that butter. Mmm, look at that, it's so good, you guys. Make sure to keep your fire on a low heat, just so we don't dry out our veggies. You guys, this is also so perfect for September and for fall. Like what better meal to make for your kids and your family than some good chicken noodle soup, especially with COVID going around. You need to have a recipe and a good recipe for chicken noodle soup. The garlic helps fight the cold, the onions, the celery, the carrots. It's just all around amazing. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit and simmer until our veggies get nice and soft. Okay guys, so now that we have our veggies already sauteed and softened in our pan, we're gonna go ahead and add our shredded chicken as well. Go ahead and just dump it on in with the veggies because like a soup for me and like some of you guys may know, um, making gummo, I like to make a roux with my chicken noodle soup. So I'm gonna add in, when you do gumbo, you make a roux and then you saute it with your veggies and your sausage. Well, that's how I do mine. So I like to do my soup like that as well. So I pour my chicken in here and I get it all nice and juicy with all of this amazing juices from the butter and the garlic and the onion. Ugh, you guys, listen. Your kids should be literally at your ankles now begging like they wanna eat. <laughs> Next, we are going to add in our bouillon. Okay, so you're going to add in literally, literally you guys, just a full teaspoon, just like that. 
boom, drop it in. Right into your chicken. Just like that, okay? Once you do that, you're going to mix it all in. Make sure your pot is on a nice and good simmer. Ooh. Once you mix your bouillon all into your chicken and your veggies and it's all sauteed and looking amazing and smelling amazing, cause y'all, this is ready for its juice, which is the chicken broth. Okay, go ahead and leave that right there like that. Take, take it off the stove or take it off the fire and then get ready to add in your chicken broth, your noodles, and then your veggies and meat. Okay, so next we're going to add our amazing chicken broth. Listen, you guys, I get this from Gelton's as well and it's the best. It's the absolute best, I love it. So go ahead and pour this whole thing in there, right into your pot. Go ahead and right now you can add some water because you got a lot of seasoning at the end into your jar. Go ahead and shake it up. Look at all that chicken broth seasoning. We ain't wasting that. So go ahead and pour it on in there as well. Okay. Add in your noodles, which mine are already here, nice and strained. Gonna just go ahead and dump that in there. All right, now that you have your seasoned chicken, veggies, garlic, carrots, and celery. Celery. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and throw it into the pot, right with our chicken broth, our water, and our noodles. And guess what, you guys? We're gonna mix that all in together. Ooh, freaking wee. Now that you are mixing your chicken and your noodles and your chicken broth, oh my God, this is the time now also if you guys want to add a little bit more juice, if you guys wanna add a little bit more chicken broth, Feel free, season it to your needs. Mine is mm, looking and smelling perfect. Just realize that this is probably one of the best meals you guys will make for fall because when I tell you guys this chicken noodle soup is so amazing, it's literally fire. So we're gonna let this sit and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna add our parsley, let it sit for about 15 more minutes and then should be ready to serve. Okay, you guys, so now that our soup has set for about 15 to 20 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add in our parsley. Get a good grab, okay? Sprinkle it on in there. Ooh -wee! I cannot wait, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and mix that on in. Oh, and we are just this close for dinner being done. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for about another 20 minutes before it is ready to serve, you guys. We're gonna add in some salt and pepper. Please, please do not forget, you guys. Add in some salt and pepper and then let that sit for about 25 to 20 minutes and then it's done. Okay, guys, you have probably already dug into your soup multiple times. I already know, but I won't tell anybody. <laughs> but I am going to enjoy my soup after a long, amazing day of cooking and working. I'm gonna sit back and have my wine, and I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for joining me for another Sunday. I can't wait to see you guys next week. And... Take care, bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.